You know, when World War I started back in 1914, the US lagged far behind Europe in technology and in the number of military airplanes. Great Britain had 400, Germany 1,000, France 1,400, while we only had 23. Due to this, we founded the NACA, the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics, to catch up with our competitors. This day, the foundations of NASA, and as of now, we've developed, improved, and engineered many crafts. Then in World War II, every aircraft was inspected by the NACA and improved upon. Now, due to our political tension with the Soviet Union, we must prove that we have the superior technology. We must not fall behind the enemy, or we'll surely be in a great, great heap of trouble. It means big, by the way. Is that clear? Uh, sir, I'm just a janitor. Um. Oh, uh, my apologies. I, uh, I'm getting ready for my big speech, you know? Dude, hurry, hurry, hurry. Dude, we're so late that our kids are gonna get in trouble. Hey, wait for me. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey, hey, what was that for? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just getting on my way to the space machine. Oh, then you must be Michael Collins. Let's go. Well, look who decided to finally show up. Better late than never, I guess. Hello, guys. I want to formally introduce each and every one of you today, each one of you astronauts. So please, Neil Armstrong, you please step up real quick. Next, Buzz Aldrin. Finally, Michael Collins. Each one of you will stay and have your respective positions on this mission. Neil Armstrong, you shall be the first man on the moon. Buzz Aldrin, you shall be the second man on the moon. Accompanying Neil Armstrong and you, Mike Collins, you will be in mission control inside the modules. That is the plan. Good luck, everyone out there. Seconds and counting. Astronauts report it feels good. T minus 25 seconds. 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, zero, all engine running. Liftoff, we have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Power clear. And yeah, that was all just three days ago. We are about to land on the moon, but I do want to share the entire history of the space race with you. So let me just dive into it real quick. Alright, uh, just don't take forever. Well, in the beginning, the Soviets had the upper hand, launching Sputnik, the first satellite ever into space, who was about the size of, of a volleyball, and then Sputnik 2, which carried the first living animal into space, a dog named Laika, which, due to malfunction in the cockpit, she unfortunately died due to heating. And these were launched on October 4th, 1957 at 7 28 p.m. and November 3, 1957 respectively. Then we tried to launch our own satellite and it kind of blew up in our faces. The press called it Kaputnik, which is pretty funny, but uh, that's pretty bad. Then in July 1958, NASA was formed out of the NSEA. So then we tried Project Mercury, which tackled three main objectives. The first was the first orbital spacecraft around Earth and then instruct how man reacted in space. And then third was return man and spacecraft from space. Unfortunately, the Soviets beat us to the first orbital spacecraft. And they also sent up dogs, um, plants, fungi, flies in a, in a spacecraft all at once and uh, to see how they would react. But uh, they, they turned out fine. We then sent up a chimpanzee named Ham on January 31st, 1961 to perform simple tasks up in space to see if it was possible since we had no idea. Unfortunately, Yuri Gagin um, became the first man in space way before Alan Shepard did, which was a US astronaut. 
which meant that we had fallen behind yet again. Alan Shepard was the first US astronaut to go to space though. But then in 1962, JFK gave his dedicated speech to go to the moon. And that gave us hope and a lot more funding too. But anyways, the first woman in space was actually a Russian, a Soviet. And well, I think her name was Trishika. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. And Alexei Leonov was the first to leave space capsule freely. So we had fallen way behind. Unfortunately, on January 27th, 1967, the crew sitting in the Apollo rocket, uh, due to mis miscommunication, all three men died from a fire in a cockpit that started randomly. And the, re the mission was renamed uh, Apollo 1, originally named AS-204, but in honor to the crew, they uh, renamed it that. Then, the Apollo 5 was constructed, and it was the biggest rocket at the time, and it still is the biggest rocket ever created. In October 1968, it went to the moon and back on Apollo 7 and 8 missions, which is pretty incredible. It had everything of a lunar landing, except actually landing on the moon so the soviets tried to uh catch up with us with building their own rocket but unfortunately for them all their engine kept failing every single time even though they were using the same n1 rocket model they should have learned their lesson but uh they didn't and, sac and then the saturn 5 was revealed to the public and the Apollo spacecraft included a lunar module. The Apollo 10 involved all aspects of, an, of a lunar landing except for the landing on the moon. And then finally on July 16, 1960, 1969, the Apollo 11, four days after launch, we, they finally landed on the moon on July 20th. And then my colleagues here, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, are going to land on the moon. And that's pretty crazy, right guys? But anyways, let's get down there now. Oh guys, by the way, we're on national television. Oh, okay, okay. I see the thing. Okay. The eagle has landed. Okay, also, one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Psst, let's put the flag here. Yeah, 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 uh, 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 yeah, we did it, we did it, yeah, 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 we can go home now. Uh, oh wow, look at that. Oh wow, cinematic shot. Wow. Oh, we did it. Yeah, we colonized the moon. Not really.